Hello and welcome to this short video on let all your writing happen in one, in brackets, markdown editor. Um, the basic idea of that video is to show you how you can organize all your writing to happen in just um, one editor in one environment using one language, which is a very powerful one and called markdown. Um, to get started, um, the editor we're using is called as you can see in the top left, um, the minimalist markdown editor. And um, the very appealing thing of that editor is that it's uh, an app for Google Chrome. And as you probably know, Chrome and Chromium, the open source one, um, they are available on so many platforms that it's a, a quite versatile and universal editor to use. So to get started, um, open your Google Chrome and um, go to the web store and search for markdown editor so we can do that here markdown editor and i think it would sh sh yeah as you can see it's already the first option on the apps is the one we're using here the minimalist markdown editor and the the reason i've chosen this one is um that it's open source so if you want to you can actually contribute to this project very easily. Um, just quickly show you how you can find it. You would probably type Markdown, Minimalist Markdown Editor, GitHub, and yes, there we go. And you will find um, the source code of this editor on GitHub. And uh, assuming you have an account for GitHub, you can very easily um, contribute and uh, make the editor even better. So anyway, once you've added this uh, app to your browser, um, you should find an app icon for it. Depending on your system, you need to um, kind of <laughs> look for it yourself. I'm, I'm not so familiar with how Windows does it, but this is Ubuntu Linux. And in Ubuntu, um, it's just added to your dash. So you search for Markdown and then you find um, the application. Right, so once we have that set up, uh, we can just get started with writing. So we write our creative content. Um, and the power of Markdown is its simplicity um, combined with its readability and its, um, well, quite, vers quite sufficient options for, for typewriting. So for example, if we want to make a, a big heading, we can use the syntax of Markdown. If you if you really want to dive into the syntax, um, just Google Markdown syntax and you find many examples. Heading one, which would produce a big heading. This is the text. And then we can make, for example, some bold text. This is bold. Um, and you might say, hey, how do I know that? Well, that's exactly the point. Well, you need to get uh, familiar with the syntax once, but once you know it, which is like very easy to remember, um, you can make these very simple um, formattings. And now comes the power of this editor. This is plain text, but you can also look at it as HTML or in a preview. And now you see actually what I, what I meant by this produces a big heading. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Um, so apparently this um, hash, um, this hash symbol, or here, as you can, as you remember, um, these ast asterisks, um, they produce certain formattings, um, which we can look at in this editor. So, so th that that's a that's a very um, strong point of, of using um, Markdown in a simple editor like like the like this one. Um, you write down um, without distraction, you write down your content. And once you have your content, you can now, depending on, on where you want to put, put it or paste it, literally, you, you could cut it or, for example, I could cut it, um, go into my Gmail and uh, write a new email and paste it here and render it in my email. Um, and you might think, oh, wow. How can I render that? Well, for for Gmail, there is um, an extension, which I will cover in a different video. Um, it's called Markdown here. 
but just for you to you know to have it as a as a note um it's marked down here and and it's a, it's an extension for chrome firefox and so on and it it basically it renders your emails using markdown so that's just one option and that that's again that's a un unique thing about markdown it's so versatile if i want to paste it into a google docs i could use the the render preview um copy it and um go to a google docs and let's I'm, I'm currently working on one so i don't want to mess it up but i could put it here oh damn this google docs is so slow um yeah ah there we go and now i can paste it and as you see it it's perfectly um pasted into the google docs so to not mess things up i'm, I'm, I'm going back not saving the changes so this is uh, hopefully a, a useful introduction into how to basically use one language, once again, Markdown, and one editor, once again, this minimalist Markdown editor, which is open source, therefore uh, worth supporting um, to create all your writing in one system, and then just copy paste it into the different environments you want to use it in. Um, so that's it, and um, I wish you uh, a lot of success in your in your writing and if you have any questions yeah just let me know and we'll see what we can do bye